engineering topics. Now, before I begin the presentation, I would like to emphasize one thing. Industrial engineering is a management subject. It has its roots in the engineering discipline or it is an offshoot of involvement of engineers in various engineering departments. To manage engineering departments, naturally engineers were given that responsibility and in the activity of managing engineering departments, this particular subject emerged and uh, I would have very much liked to have an industry engineering session in this particular conference. Maybe next year I will try to do something to see that uh, there is an industrial engineering uh, session in this particular conference. But also I keep advocating that all MBA programs must have industry engineering on one of the subjects. Because it is a management subject. So this is the point I would like to emphasize. Uh, the, this particular uh, research progress in two directions. One direction is to tell the industrial engineering students the importance of employee involvement. The other point is, what happened is that in the behavioral science literature, uh, it was so presented that industrial engineering ignored the human component and went for the engineering component or the technical component. Uh, that is the sort of a thing which is there. That's what you are trying to see this particular thing that the teller who is called as the father of industrial engineering, he did advocate employee involvement. And the other person is Frank Gilbert, he is also equally a pioneer of industrial engineering. He also took that same point of that. But the behavioral when theorists built an argument saying that any theory and practice has no role for the ingenuity and initiative of the operators and hence it is not involving the employees in the organization of work. That is a sort of a, a thing that was taken and I am initially trying to show you the behavioral science view what they have written. The Francis Lickard, he talked of the, the two categories of jobs. One category is a repetitive job which IEs have definitely did a lot of work and they talked of the standard work etc. And the other being the <coughs> job sort of a, this thing what is called a varied work system, job to job. And his argument was in this job system, the worker has much more freedom to choose his methods. And he made this sort of a, a conclusion, it's better to have a combination of these two systems to develop a, a better method. It's much more moderate that way. But if you see some of the other behavioral scholars, like this at one point of time, that the classical management, meaning the scientific management, the beginning from the teller, it makes people unmotivated by not involving workers. He says the manager is telling in that classical mode, I don't want you to get involved. So the operator doesn't get involved. He says, right? Then Douglas Beckler, once again, he talked to the pretty workers, which the Rensis Lickers. He said the repeated workers were not involved in the work process, do not be improvement. The point here is saying is, you are not using worker's brain, you are using much more of his physical effort. He says the, the brain is much more important than the, the physical effort, which is the focus of the, the IE studies. <coughs> there is a, one more sort of a distinct, a recent sort of a thing where they are telling the time on motion study, Mr. Tarsultan has just mentioned, right? The managers do motion studies and time motion studies and prescribe one best way, and here he says, this attitude that all workers have to use the management way is indicative of autocratic nature of classical management. This is the sort of a conclusion he is making from the whole idea of scientific management which says that management should take the responsibility and find the right way and then train the workers. But this is a sort of a interpretation given to that, that if you are asking a worker to follow the method you are prescribing, you are an autocratic sort of a this way. I would like to now move from the, the behavioral science thing to the, the industrial engineering field. What sort of things are there in the field? And this is what actually is the scientific management where Taylor has talked of. You have developed the science of the management, this thing. Select workers on a scientific basis and go for a scientific education and development. What is science? This is one question I need to keep on answering. It seems a simple explanation of science is where a natural phenomena is explained to other natural phenomena. That is the science. Right? You move away from science and say God is doing it. A natural event explained through God is not science. Science is a natural event explained through another natural event. That's what we are all trying to do. Uh, then he talked about this. Intimate friendly cooperation between the management and the man. Not conflict, not ignoring. Teller always talking of the harmony between the management and the worker. The same thing he talks of. Science not rule of thumb. Harmony not discard, 
cooperation, not individualism. <coughs> then he talks of this particular thing. Then he talks of the that you are interested in developing the man to his highest efficiency and prosperity. Then he specifically talks of this. You know, you have to provide scope for Indian initiative. Employees have to encourage suggest improvements, both in implements. Whenever a worker proposes an improvement, you should policy of the management to a careful analysis, do experiments, and determine the merit of the suggestion of the operator worker. <coughs> right? And if the superior, adopt it as the method and give the full credit and recognition to the workman for that particular suggestion, whatever he has given. Then he, he talks of this as a caution. He says, whatever I am advocating, I am advocating involvement of experts into the work system. But you do it in such a way that a person loses none of his originality and personal initiative, even though he is controlled by many other men. But he has to work harmoniously with them, not a conflict, no sort of this sort. Right? In Kirchner said the same thing. He says scientific people provides a mechanism to foster suggestions and improve standard methods. But he talks of one says method is there, people all should follow, and then only your suggestions are starting to come. Right? Now, this particular idea is very well implemented in Japanese. They say they got huge number of suggestions from their operators. Right? Then you see, it's not only the, the early 19 level, Taylor and Gilbert, even mm -hmm. the latter thing. To talk of this particular thing, uh, an article by Kendall White, where he says, Please make sure that there is a, a participation of the people. Right? Nadler, another great author in the <coughs> industrial engineering, he takes this particular thing in 1955. You please tell the worker why you are doing what you are, how you are doing. Take this particular thing, involve him in this particular this thing. I know work study is one of the very important books. And in India, we use it because our institute, NITI, is starting to collapse ILO. So we take ILO seriously. And in 1957, they have written this. Please involve that particular thing. And they said, whatever session he gives, please record in the analysis sheet itself. Write in the original document, the operator should be given credit for his contribution to this particular thing. Give a full credit to this particular thing. Give this particular thing. They said, let him play as well as what is possible new method and reason his own method. You know? right. Then we have uh, Alan Morgensen, he talked about simply an approach where he said more active involvement of the operators and supervisors. Even some other books we see that particular thing is there advocating the employee implement, involvement. Even recent articles in the IAE magazine have the uh, given give case how the employees are involved and sort of thing. Now I just I put Amishina. Amishina is a Japanese professor and is well known for his world class manufacturing approach. And Fiat are one of the people who use this particular thing. <coughs> and he talks of this particular thing total industrial engineering, total quality management, and total productive maintenance. All three as the pillars or foundation for your world class manufacturing. Right? Now, here what we are looking at is the total industrial engineering is that similar is spirit to the total quality and total productive maintenance where the efficiency is a responsibility of everybody in the organization. Not only a specialist industry engineer, it is a responsibility. The point is what is being created is that everybody is involved in industrial engineering. Right? So what I would like to take from this particular work, the way of quoting the literature and this particular work, the statement is that employee you know, decision making and management increases the commitment to the working of men to the performance organization. That is point one. Employee involvement is good for the organization. The importance of employee involvement in IE studies was recognized in form of the discipline, Taylor himself, and Taylor did advocate employee involvement right. That is the point you are trying to say. Yes, thinker subsequent in industrial engineering also endorsed Taylor in advocating the employee involvement. That is the sort of a conclusion we would like to show. Right? Then, this point we are trying to say, totally opposite to this, a strong impression was created with VLU management scholars that no industrial engineering ignored employee and they went in their own sort of particular manner. One thing is there is a need for reconciliation for this sort of a, uh, this one, this sort of a uh, disjoint argument should not have been there, right? So, for industry, you are trying to say the term total industrial engineering, use this particular term, 
this particular thing. <coughs> and probably there is a need to develop IE model, that's a total IE model, like the TQM as a TPM model, so that we all feel that it is involvement of all employees is taking place in this particular, uh, this one. And industry has a great potential to contribute to the survival and growth of business organizations as total industrial engineering in which all employees participate. Right? This is a, a, a discipline which is really required by the society. It is so because in the management textbooks, if you open, right in the first chapter, you talk of effectiveness and efficiency. And our statement is that industrial engineers focus on efficiency. If any designer creates an effective design, what is effective design? A design which is going to fulfill the customer's wishes. A design which is going to fulfill the customer's wishes is an effective design. Now that effective design is evaluated and the efficiency of the design is improved by the industrial engineers. Now, Increasing efficiency is an important part of management goal right in the first chapter and industrial engineering has a, a great potential to contribute to that and they have to definitely remove any sort of a <coughs> misinterpretation that was done subsequent to the development of the discipline. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can I ask the presenters to come up here? Perhaps we can have you.